appropriate footwear on. Going on a little lunchtime excursion up this increasingly moist and squelchy path. Making me wish I'd just put the effort in and put the proper shoes on. But here we are, squelching our way up this windy hill. It's lovely and windy, isn't it? I mean, you Why didn't I put my shoes on for this? It's not frozen anymore. It's starting to thaw. The only thing that's left is some bits of ice. Oh, we just opened up the hill. Mild slippage. Oh, it was worth it though. It was worth it. Oh, trust us, it was worth it. Oh, look at that. all over the place. Anymore. But I beautiful little spot. Some lucky devil lives at the end of the road. Look over here as well. Five times please. Yeah look at that island. You can see the weather rolling in. As it does. I just spied, so my eyes are watering up because of the wind. I just spied the old deer fence in there. Oh, bloody! I, I just spied a deer? Look at this majestic beauty. Oh, wow. T 10 out of 10, mate. 10 out of 10. No, seriously. You're a majestic mofo. Probably smell it, can't you? I know I'm a bit stinky, I'm sorry. Tell me this isn't some ant and tip action. Oh, I, I, sorry, I, I, I didn't mention, I didn't, I didn't mean to mention. Let old mate live his life here. Yeah. You eat that grass, live your best life. To be fair, like, let me zoom in again because I, I can see heaps over here. There we go, zoom in a bit more. Is that now nah, that's just a rock? You see, the old deceptive deers. <laughs> it's a windy nightmare here. Have a look at my eyes. Have you see my eyes? And I'm not even facing the wind. Hey. It is a windy, windy place this, but uh, you know what I mean? it's a bit warmer as well because we're getting some of the warmth from the air, uh, a bit warmer than me, which inland isn't getting, I think it's about 4 or 5 degrees warmer where it is now where I am than 10, 15 miles over the hill. I thought I'd film this inevitable disaster. A bit tea tonight. It's just some classic bloody smoky bacon crisps. Good old smoky bacon. 
and then you just you just scoot that into the mid. <laughs> just scoot that in there. There we go. And then, uh, of course, no smoky bacon bloody crisp wrap would be complete. Oh, it's pissing out. Did I? Oh, look at that. I mostly missed the uh, the mat. I'd say that's a success myself. Like, that's the joys of having uh, sauce bottles in what an ambient 30 odd degree temperature. I think like half the bottle was maybe 10 degrees and this was maybe 20. So pissed out everywhere. But anyway, yeah, boom, big wrap. Would you look at that absolute beast? That absolute beast of a wrap. Let's get this bloody nom, shall we? Well, 10 out of 10, it's better than it is separate. I'll tell you what, get yourself some smoky bacon brown sauce wraps. It's a way forward. I've stayed here for a couple of days now, two days. This is the warmest day in a couple of days. It's up to six now. With the wind, it feels like zero, but yeah, the temperature is apparently six degrees. Now it should be getting better. See, so yeah, I'm hoping to crack on before the sun sets, before the temperature goes down, hopefully the barn will start. And then go to the next spot, which is going to get down to minus four tomorrow, during the day, apparently. So yeah, I'll be hanging out there for another two nights, until it gets warmer again. And then uh, I think the cold snaps over then. We're just there, we're back to somewhat normal temperatures, sort of six, seven, eight degrees Celsius, which the van's all right with. It doesn't complain too much at that temperature. It's once you get below five, four degrees, it's, oh, it doesn't like it. But I, for now, I'll catch you. Good morning from the sunny yet chilly cliff edge, cliffside viewpoint that you saw before I spun around. Do you like the um, the frosty bit of ground there where the, <laughs> the van shadow is? <laughs> so yeah, I'm planning on staying here for two nights because it's going to be cool today, as you can see, even though the sun's out. And it is a beautiful blue sky day, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. But yeah, it's going to be cold today, cold tomorrow, uh, tonight. And then it should get up to six, seven degrees tomorrow. So then I should be able to start the van nice and easy and, uh, and crack on over to the, the most westerly point, the UK mainland, which is, which is the last one for me to go to. But I know you guys haven't seen the northern one yet and we will be going there, don't you worry. Come over here and just show you where I'm staying. You've got to watch out for the puddle of ice. Feel free to pause that bad lad there. I mean, I've read these the last time I was here, but there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in the west here. And yeah, same deal you here. Feel free to pause. It goes and talks about all the uh, the different type of land and history of it, and obviously you've got the old summer shot there, which to be fair was how it looked last winter. There was nice snow on it last winter. And then you've got this lovely little drive along the cliff there. It's one of the few drives last year that like actually scared me a bit, was driving along there. Uh, we've got some visitors. It is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a wander down here. See what the crack is. Doing it the picturesque view. Oh, look at that. The cows have got room to play now. as much sun on the beach before. It's quite a long road up uh, through that pass there and you can see it at night. You can see the headlights coming and going. I'll tell you what, I've just been admiring the, uh, the beach that these cows have. Look at them just chilling. Like I saw there's one, there's one cow just chilling in the shade but they're making their way back over to the sun. They're right over there before. But look at the water. You know, it's lovely and clear and clean. It is absolutely beautiful water down there. 
I don't know if this zoom level will uh, will bring it out or not. But yeah, it's very clean, the water there. And the cows are just loving it. Now this this mud has uh, has thawed out, so you've got to be quick. So you've got to be light, not necessarily quick. But uh, I want to come out here and show you this bit sight when the sun's not blasting on it in the old dusk hours. Some lovely sights to be had. I actually ended up staying at this viewpoint uh, for two nights the last time as well, but that was more because yeah. I didn't do this, which you probably know from one of the previous episodes that I, uh, I probably guess that I didn't do it. But I wanted to climb that hill. I didn't have snow on at the time, but the, the parking spot to to go up, it has no internet. And I needed internet for work. So I ended up coming back and parking there for a second night. And it was windy as all hell that second night. It was the second worst uh, night in the van I've had as far as wind. Yeah, look at that lovely picture. What when the sun goes down around here and the cows lie down? the shaky up and tip cam now. I thought he was going for the fence. Oh, it looks like he's going for the fence. Maybe he's just having a wag up, you know, just, just on a wag up wood. Ah, yes. The noise food makes. <laughs> 